And now, Thriller Thursdays on the Mutual Audio Network. The following audio drama is rated PG for parental guidance recommended. Stage Struck Audio Theater brings you Keeping Up with the Joneses, the family with the quaint country store in the heart of Red Dust, Oklahoma. This episode, The New Idea. What are you doing? What's it look like I'm doing, Lisa? Well, it sounds like you're making a lot of noise. What is it? It's a sign. I can see that. What's it say? You'll only tell Dad. Uh Uh-oh. What uh uh-oh? Uh-oh. What uh uh-oh, Lisa? Seth, is this another one of your ideas? It's called initiative. Initiative? When did you learn that word? In our vocabulary this week, thank you very much. What does it mean? What do you think it means? Seth, come on. Lisa, for your information, dear sister, it means a readiness to begin action. (laughs) Once Dad sees what you're up to, he'll have the initiative to tan your hide and hang it on the shed. Ha ha. Very funny. Do you see me laughing? This new idea of mine is different. You mean like the one where you thought giving away a baby pig with each purchase of two dollars or more was a good idea? That one was different. I didn't plan ahead. Uh, Yeah, we ended up cleaning the store for two weeks afterward. I... Ended up cleaning the store, you mean. The same difference. Not from where I was standing, or smelling, in this case. What does the sign say, Seth? You only tell Dad. Seth Jones, you let me see that sign right now. Okay, fine. When a six-month supply of feed, see details inside... Seth! Dad would never agree to something like that. Who says he has to know? Seth, be reasonable. We haven't learned that vocabulary word yet. I can see that. And so will Dad once he gets into the store this morning. Everybody in town will want to know how they can win that. Exactly. That's called initiative. You are stark raving crazy if you think Dad will go for something like that. How does it work anyway? Chances. Like the one you're taking? No. You can buy a chance to win this six-month supply of feed, and after a time, we draw the lucky winner out of a jar or a barrel or something. That's crazy. You just said to yourself that half of Red Dust would want in on something like this. Dad will go broke. He told us to come over and open the store for him this morning, not run him into bankruptcy. We haven't studied that word either. You're impossible. It's called initiative. Where is Dad, anyway? Still at the house eating breakfast with Mom. Boy, I wouldn't give five cents to be you right now. Hand that dish over there, Tom. Which dish? The one in your hand. You're off somewhere else this morning. I'm worried about the store. Oh, I wouldn't worry if I were you. Give me that dish so I can wash it. Oh, here. I'm just concerned, not worried. About what? You know our son, don't you? Seth won't do anything. You just told him to open the store up. He'll probably only start a fire or something worse. I wouldn't joke if I were you. You think he might? Tom, Lisa and Seth are getting old enough to take on more chores around here, and opening up the store is one of them. We talked about this. Then why do I have the cold sweats, Maggie? You're a good dad. You know that? Because I let my son burn down our store? Or worse? What's worse than burning down the store? Forget I said it. It's burned in my brain. Burned! I can't get flames out of my head. Get your elbows moving, young man. Dry those dishes. Oh, right. It'll be fine. Sure, it'll be fine. You're doing the right thing. I'm doing the right thing. Take your time getting over there this morning. I'll take my time getting over there this morning. Maybe I should go on over to the store, Maggie. What'd I just say? I can't remember. I'm having visions of ashes and soot over here. Here's another dish to get your mind off of it. Oh, okay. And, lest you forget, Lisa did go with him. Right. The mature one. Our girl. They'll be fine. Maybe. Tom. You know what, sweetheart? You're absolutely right. They need to learn responsibility around here, and what better way? Give me another dish. 
That's the spirit. You can go down yonder in a little bit. Sounds good. I'll go down yonder and get to work. Get out of here, you. As long as you come with me to make sure the place isn't in cinders. Okay, fine. But these dishes do not wash themselves. Thank you, Mrs. Poteet. We appreciate the business. Uh, and I'll let you know when we draw for the free supply of feed. Did you see that, Lisa? That makes eight chances I've sold already. You better enjoy it while it lasts. There's Dad and Mom outside. Oh, boy. Uh, hide me. No way, little brother. Remember, it's called initiative. My hide won't look good tanning on the shed. It won't be the first time. Or last. Yeah, thanks a lot. Just showing you that I care. <laughs> Can I help you, Mr. Jones? <laughs> Seth? Nice morning. Huh? Dad? Seth? <laughs> Are you in for it now, Seth? Lisa, hush. Seth? Hey, Mom. Have a good breakfast? Seth? Oh, he's turning red, Seth. You better quit before he passes out. Lisa, you're not helping here. I thought I was. You're not. I guess you saw my sign? Yes, we saw your sign. Pretty neat idea, huh? Neat was not the word I was thinking of. Seth, what were you thinking? He wasn't. Lisa, we'll handle this. Now, son, we've talked about this before. But you guys are always telling us that we need to show some initiative around here. And we just learned that word in class this week. You know what? Why would they teach you words like that when there are words that are less dangerous? Lisa, did you not remind him about the pigs? I reminded him. Son, we learned a lesson from that, didn't we? Yeah, that's, that's why I came up with this one. I want you to take that sign down. But, Dad... This instant young man... He's already sold chances on it. He did what? Initiative, Dad. Seth, if I had a nickel for every time that you've... What? I'd have a truckload of nickels, that's what. Stay calm, Tom. But, but I've already sold some chances. How many? Eight. I even got Mrs. Poteet to buy one. You did? You did? Yep. Seth! Let's stay calm, honey. Well, son, you'll just have to return everyone's money. But- I can't afford to supply someone with six months of feed. But that's where the chances come in. I've already sold enough to- You're going to return everyone's money to them, Seth. That would be false advertising. Son. All right. And take the sign down. Uh. What is it, son? When, when do you think any of my ideas will, will be any good? Now, Seth... I'll go back and sweep out the feed room. That's what I'm best at. I'll take the sign down. No. He'll do it. Okay, whatever you say. Listen, will you two watch this door for a few minutes? Okay. Sure. I'm gonna go next door and see Patrick. All right. And please... Yes, Dad? No initiative from you or anyone else until I get back. Tom? I'll be back in a few. Hey, Patrick. How's the vet business? Have you seen the bulls out here, Tom? Seen them? I've stepped in what they've left behind. Those bulls out there are from the cattle show. I'm keeping them here for the owners. Oh. Do you know who won this year? No, I didn't make it this year. Now, you have to understand that because of legal reasons, they have to give these bulls pretty peculiar names. Oh, alright. Those kind of names. Gotcha. So, uh, who won? Well, this year, it won first, which one got second, and out. Wait, wait. Just a cotton picking minute. What's wrong? Are you gonna tell me which one got first? Whoa, now. You weren't paying attention. It won first. Which one got second? And Al- What got first? No. Say what? No, he didn't. Didn't what? Get first. Then who did? No. Say what? He didn't get it either. It won first. Which one got second? And Al- It won first. Yes. It did. Yes. Which one are we talking about here? No, which one did not win first? It did. I'm lost here, Patrick. Quit playing with my already aching head. Which one won first? No, that isn't right. What's your problem? I'm just trying to figure out who won the bull show out here. Who did not win anything? Quit saying that. Well, then what did? He didn't win either. Are, are you all right today? I thought so. Now just tell me the placings, Patrick. I have been. Pay attention. 
It won first. Which one got second? Wait, wait, wait. Who got second? Who did not place? Well, I'd wish you'd tell me. I have been. Who won second? No, he didn't. He's a terrible looking bull. Which one did then? That's right. Which one got second? Exactly. Which one? That's right. Well, I'll swan. No, now he won third. We're not even discussing him right now. Which one got third? No, he didn't. You could drive a wooden man crazy. Which one did not win third? You say he got second and I'll scream. But he did. He did. Yes. Which one did? Yes. So when they put the wreaths on them and take pictures, they'll put them on which one? He'll get one, yes, but only the second place wreath. And who'll get first? No, he won't. It will. Which one? No, it. It. It? Yes. Al Swan. Got third place. Quit talking about him. I'm trying to get you straight on the first two. I wish someone would. So let me get this straight. It won first place. Yes, it did. And which one got second? That's exactly right. Now you're talking straight. So let me see if I've got this now. It won first. Which one got second? I'll swan one third here in the bull show. Everyone's happy. The owners are in sheer bliss. A great bull show for the summer. That's the first sensible thing you've said all day. I don't even know if I'm coming or going on this thing, Patrick. Well, I'll run you through it again. Don't bother. My head's already swimming. I want to talk to you about Seth. How's he doing? I haven't seen him around in a while. He's been busy. Did your boys ever drive you half crazy? Nope. They didn't? No, they drove me completely crazy. What's wrong with Seth? Oh, he's got these big ideas about how to promote the store. Like that pig idea of his? You remember that. I sure do. That was one of the best pigs we ever had. You don't have him anymore? No. What happened to him? You sell him? No, we ate him. Yum, yum. Well, don't tell Lisa that. She'll bust out crying. I promise. So, he's got a new idea, huh? Without even telling me, he up and put a sign on the door selling things for six months worth of free feed. You're kidding me. No, I'm not. Wowee! Exactly. So how much is he asking per chance? Patrick. What? It sounds like a great deal to me. I'll take half a dozen. We'll go broke. Hadn't he sold any this morning? He said eight. Goodness gracious. Sounds like he's drumming up the business. You haven't been listening to me, Patrick. I'll go broke. Once upon a time, one of my boys, Alan it was, Set up a free rabies shot service for a while. Didn't that get in the way of your other customers with cattle and other animals? I thought it would, but it didn't. It brought in the business. That was one of our busiest times that I can remember. Really? Sure. Listen, take it from me. Sometimes you got to let your kids get their feet wet. Otherwise, they may never learn a thing. Sometimes the only way for them to learn anything is to step in it, if you get my drift. You think so? I know so. Now, which one got first out here? Go on and get out of here. Well, look who's home early. I thought Dad closed the store down at noon. I I wanted to come home. Lisa's watching the store. I I thought you were staying down there to help out. I had my own work to do. Well... Why the long face? Nothing. Your face is dragging the ground. What are you pouting about? I'm not pouting. Then what, pray tell, are you doing? Brooding. There's a difference. You and your vocabulary words. Brooding. Do you know what that means? Yeah, that's what I'm doing right now. I wonder if Dad will ever like one of my ideas. Ask yourself a question, Seth. What's that? Are you doing it to help out the store or yourself? Mom, come on. It's a fair question. Mom. Running a business is serious, Seth. It's our livelihood. It's how we put food on the table. I get that. Do you? Some of your harebrained schemes say otherwise. Harebrained schemes? Yes, the one where everyone gets a free pig with a $50 purchase. 
We had to go buy every pig up in the whole countryside before we were done. Okay, okay. No more giving away free pigs. And then there was the strongman contest that you wanted to hold. That was a good- And then the online auction that nearly broke us. I, uh, I get it, Mom. And now this. I, I thought it would drive up business. Did you really? Yes. Yes, I did. Giving away six months worth of free feed. But the money from the chances is supposed to cover the cost of the feed. Will it? I, I don't know. I see. What's that supposed to mean? A businessman has to count the cost and predict the gain on what is bought and sold. And I didn't do that? You tell me. I, I, I don't know. And there's your problem. I'm sorry, Mom. Hey, look, Seth. You're showing initiative, and that's what your father wants. Initiative? I wish I'd never heard that word. It's a good word, Seth. I don't think Dad thinks so. Sure he does. Believe it or not, he really does appreciate you thinking about the store like you do. Well, he doesn't act like it. He just likes things done a certain way. That's all. I wish my ideas were good. They are. Just sometimes they're hard to use. Good ideas, but, but hard to use? That's right, Seth. But this one doesn't sound too bad to me. I already sold eight chances this morning. Did you now? So why are you brooding here, then? I didn't think Dad wanted me there anymore today. I tell you what, why don't you go back and find out? I don't think I should. Or you get to help me fix dinner. See ya. I better go back down there and play Peacemaker. Hi, Dad. How was Patrick? Confusing. Where's your brother? He went home. What for? He thought you were mad at him for his idea with the free feed. I was. You're not anymore? No, I guess not. He had a couple more people try and buy chances after you went to see Patrick, but he had to tell them it was off. Two more, huh? And he told them it was off? Yeah. What did he do that for? You told him to. Oh, right. Does this mean it's back on? I think so. Why'd you change your mind? I don't know. I guess the only way to learn some things around here is to just do it and see what happens. You mean that? I sure do. That's great. Why? Well, because I think I've got a great idea, too. What's that? And I, I promise it involves giving nothing away. That's good. What is it? And I know the folks in Red Dust would just love it. Okay, what? And it would drum up more business for the store. I like what I'm hearing. What is it? And folks would tell other folks... L Lisa, what is your idea? Dog grooming. Say that again. Dog grooming. Where? Right here in the store. Right here? Yep, right here in the store. With the feed, canned goods, tack, brooms, barrel of crackers, and everything else? Yes, what do you think? I don't. You don't like it. One new idea at a time, Lisa. I don't think I can handle it anymore. But Dad! Yeah, yeah, I know. Good initiative, Lisa, but wrong direction. Think more country store, and then we'll talk about it. Okay, Dad. We'll save the dog grooming for another day. All right. Maybe you're right. Dog grooming. Before you know it, they'll have me running a zoo around here. Hey, Dad. Seth, with your mom in tow, what are you up to now? I think he has something to say to you, Tom. Sorry about not talking to you about the idea with the with chances and the feed before I put the sign up. That's something I wanted to talk to you about, son. Yes, sir. You know how I feel about those kinds of things. Yes, sir, I do. This is a family store we're running here. Yes, I know. We were just now talking about that very thing. Does he know what that means? Lisa, behave. Our job is to bring in customers and give them what they need and what they want. I understand. Well then, I have only one question for you. Yes, sir. Where is that sign of yours that you took down? I put it in the trash. You did what? Get it out of there, son. You have chances to sell for six months' supply of free feed. Are you sure, Dad? Let's give it a shot and see what happens. But, Dad! We try it together as a family, Lisa, and see what happens. And what about my ideas for the store? Could we stand it? Mom. Joking. Your idea next go-around. Got it. Yes, ma'am. So, Seth, get that sign back up. Thanks, Dad. It'll be great. I know it will. I'm sure it will, son. And our word for the day? 
initiative. I like it. A little bit of it. Anyway. Great. Thanks, Dad. Well, hop to it. And I think I thought of something else we could do around here one day. What's that? Dog grooming. Uh, Dad? No. Hang the sign, and let's get some work done around here. Thanks for listening to Stage Struck Audio Theater's production of Keeping Up with the Joneses. In the cast, announcer, Wesley Swigert, Lisa, Christina DiMattia, Seth, Richard Moon, Mom, Amanda Duell, Dad, Derek Wood, Patrick, Wesley Swigert. Script by Brett Jones. Stage Struck Audio Theater is a production of Wichita State University Theater Department. There are many things that we can all do that may help stop the spread of the coronavirus. But one thing we can all do is to have a plan in case you do get sick. First, consult with your health care provider for more information about monitoring your health for symptoms suggestive of COVID-19. Second, stay in touch with others by phone or email. You may need to ask for help from friends, family, neighbors, community health workers, or more if you become sick. And finally, determine who can care for you if your caregiver gets sick. For more information, go to cdc.gov and be well, everyone.